asking Zane, I'm Hane, and um, today I have a really special guest. It's my dad. He's back. Hey guys, I'm Mark, and this is my boy Hayden. He is an awesome little boy. And if you've watched, hopefully you've watched us, but a little bit about ourselves. We are a family who loves to play games. games. Um, Hayden, what's your favorite game ever, probably? Um, probably Dominion. Dominion? Dominion? What the heck is Dominion? It's, um, a get Dominion. It's, um, a game when you're trying to make, get, like, most villages. Oh, yeah. The biggest Dominion and stuff like that. Well, Hayden loves games, and we love, and, you know, I love doing videos, and, um, um, we just like doing this sort of thing. So, um, today we have something a little bit different. Hayden, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about another, um, another Dominion that's called Intrigue. It's like a Dominion, but it's the second Dominion. It's the second Dominion, that's right. It's almost like an expansion um, to Dominion, but it's a standalone game. So you could actually that buy this. Them. It connects, doesn't it? Yeah, it So it's a really cool game. Um, you know, there was one point in my life where I, would, I, I swore that I would never, ever buy a collectible card game like Pokemon or Magic the Gathering because I knew that if I got into that, They'd get, me, they'd get their hooks into me, and I'd just spend so much money on collectible card games. But here is the solution to that. Dominion is a game much like those games in that you're trying to build a deck and have the best deck possible. But the cool thing about it is you go to the store and buy this board game, and you're set. You don't have to buy all these little expansion packs and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. Um, today, what we're going to do, what we thought we'd do, was give you guys a quick look at this expansion to Dominion. It's it called, has different cards. It has a lot of different cards. And um, actually what you can do is you can click, if you're on YouTube, just click right down there and you can change it to high def. And you can, you can look at the artwork and what the cards do and um, it, it'll help you make a decision on whether you want to buy the second, uh, the second game out for the Dominion um, series. So let's take a look. Should we take a look? Yeah! Let's do it. All right. Inside box it gets an instruction book. And guess what? It looks just like Dominion. You get 500 cards. And it's got that label thing to tell you where to put them. And um, guys, I'm not going to tell you how to play a game. Because I explained it on episode 8. And um, now let's take a close look up on the cards. Okay guys, um, this might be a little hard to uh, show you all these cards on video. Um, you can go to theboardgamegeek.com to get pictures which might, um, might be easier for you to look at. But we just want to give you a quick flavor of what some of these cards can do for you in Intrigue. Um, so, if we look right off, off, off the bat, these are all the new cards you get. These are all the new decks. But um, if you look here, the, you, you remember the moat from the first one. Here's the new solution or the defense reaction card, and that's the secret chamber. Um, you know, it, discarding number of cards plus one card per discarded. Pretty rad. Um, what else do we got? We have the swindler, which I, I really don't like. Uh, each other player tr uh, take, trashes the top card of this deck and gains a card with the same cost that you choose. So it's a really mean card. Um, Hayden, I think, likes to use that card quite a bit. What do you think, Hayden? Yeah, and here's a Baron. This is the card that I like in the game. It gives you one extra buy, and if you like have a vi one victory card, you get four dollars. Yeah. So if you discard your estate card, you automatically get four dollars that turn. So that's pretty awesome. Shanty Town is actually really cool. Um, it's really cheap, three dollars. You get plus two actions, and if you have no more action cards in your hand, you get to gain two two cards. Really cool idea. Masquerade adds a whole nother different to the game. Masquerade plus two cards, but then you must choose a card from your hand and hand it to the person to your left. So it's it's kind of interesting. You, you start your hand with something and then it's completely different by the time it's your turn. So that's pretty cool. Um, what's another cool cool card we like? Well, the Scout scout plus one action. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put the revealed car victory cards um, into your hand. Put the other cards on top of your deck in any order. So it sets you up for your next turn, which is a really cool mechanic, uh, a, a way of building your deck. And then the Village in Dominion was one of my favorite cards. This one makes it a little bit cooler because you can trash this card at any time and you get two extra dollars at, at, at that 
oh, when he trashes. So but that's we don't cool. like to do it. Hayden doesn't like using that. And then what's another one? Um, Hayden really likes the, the torture. If you so it gives you three, three card, and the player must discard get this card two cards, or he gets a minus card. A curse. Yeah. yeah so Hayden, bad. for some reason, he really likes that. In the first game, if you watched episode eight, the witch is his favorite. This one, probably the torturer. And here's, so there's there's all kinds of really cool cards here. But mm -hmm. my favorite part of this game is that um, it mixes these, these, these victory cards up at the top, as you can see here. Some of them not quite child appropriate, like this one right here. Um, I'm not going to read that out loud. But the, the, the idea behind it is really cool. So um, not only is it two dollars so a silver but it's also two victory points at the end of the game so it's mixing treasure with victory it costs a lot six dollars but it's a an awesome card i really like that card you have the duke that's worth one one point for every duchy you have at the end of the game so that's pretty nice and you have a here a nobles it's an action and a victory card so you can choose one plus three cards or plus two actions and at the end of the game it's two points brilliant card and then you have the great hall plus one card, plus one action, and it's a victory point. So the mixing, the idea of mixing actions with victory cards and treasure with victory cards, that's great. And that makes, it, it makes the Dominion uh, game a lot more fun if you mix these in with the old game. So th that's a quick look at some of these cards. Again, if you if you want to take a more in-depth look, go to www.boardgamegeek.com and you can, look, you can look up all the pictures there. Hayden, should we tell them what we think of the game? Yeah! Okay, guys, this game is a really fun game. And um, my favorite card is the Baron and the Torture. And, what? Um, the Torture? Why do you like the Torture? Because it gives, like, curse cards out. Wow, sweet. Um, it, it is a really cool game. Now, do you need to have Intrigue to have fun with Dominion? Absolutely not. But you know what? It makes Dominion a lot more fun. It adds more flavor and spice to the mix. If you can afford it, I'd say get it. But the the danger, you know, I just mentioned at the beginning of this film that I never buy collectible card games. Well, Dominion's quickly becoming collectible. Not not in in the sense collectible like like Magic the Gathering, but there's more and more expansions coming out, and I want to get them. I want to get them, and so uh, except number three. Number three. Number three is already out. We might review that in in the near future, but. Um, so, do you need it? No. Is it fun? Heck yes, it's a lot of fun. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I give um, it a 10. You, oh, he's at a 10. He gave it a 10. So, um, that's us. And and if you liked it, what, where can people go to find out more about games we've done, Hayden? You can go to www.gamesahayden.com. Till next time, I'm Hayden Teeter. Mm -hmm.